So one of my problems when I first started off was I, I took a piece of styrene and I cut it to fit here. I figured where this cab ends, which is right below before this, unfortunately. Mm. And let me get a piece of something here. So that meant that this end flopped. It wasn't right. tight on there. And then I come up here and I don't really want to go beyond this because I want to be able to get my wires by. Right. So I would take a piece of styrene and glue it on here. And that didn't work too badly. I liked it because it separated all of this electronics from metal and everything that was in right. the locomotive. And the moving parts and stuff. And the moving like parts. Like a shield. But just before I left to come here to do these shows, I made one of these. Okay. I've got a 3D printer now and I thought, got to thinking, well, why don't you put it to a good use? Okay. So this little guy fits right over there and that's a place for me to set all my electronics on. Isn't that terrific? Now, like I say, that's I a great use for a 3D printer. I know some use. people are still on the fence about the, whether they're, they're ready to build models with, but yeah. certainly doing things like this, oh, hey, I think everybody can agree. I think there's all kinds of detail parts you can make, and yeah. certainly this is a good thing to do, because now I have a platform upon which I can put all of my electronics.